back. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. From what I understand, time's getting so short. Starting at last, Admiral. We found I'm... We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, Megamind? I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Hmm. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's... Piero is an inventor who is able to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero spends most of his time in his workshop. workshop. Be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us. You talked to Piero yet? He made the weapon he left for you on the Here. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. Yes, please. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is on. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Ooh. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. Properties not fully understood, which relate to mind itself and the spirit. It is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest, for you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, animal body is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in the key ingredients making a Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separated that separate humankind from the mindless blue jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Piero. No, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Tivian ore? What's wrong with the metals in Gristal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy everything you needed was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly. But this is my bar, or what's left of it. And we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one, will, no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Is Havelock? Is that Havelock? I don't remember who Havelock is. Oh, a lot of 
box here. Slowly increase pressure on a subject over. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, we'll see. Mm -hmm. An assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Crossbow, no need. Sleep dart. Oh. That would be useful. Mm -hmm. Allows you to modify your view. Press left alt to zoom. Capacity. The optics and the sleep dart are interesting, but I'm gonna save my money for now. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Tell me what so I can make. I would for like you. to purchase the optics. Let's get the optics. All right. Where's my bed? Piero can craft and upgrade gear with the money collect. Bring in collected blueprints to Piero. Blueprints to Piero will allow you to unlock new web upgrades to buy. These services can be ac accessed by talking to Piero at any time. Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Right here, bro. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Please follow me to your quarters. Ooh, a hundred dollars. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days. But you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs. Back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. Let's get some more valuables. Log entry 1-4. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's in Providence. Some born fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections always lack. What will we do with the drunken whaler? Not the original. Oh my! You startled me. Ah, you could only be Corvo. 
I River suppose traffic I'm practicing is for your from landing in the well, distillery your job. Due to You're much younger than I expected. Violators Do make yourself at home. Terrible, you got blamed for the death of the Empress. Rest her spirit. Mm -hmm. Can explore more later. This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. Nice room. Thank you. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Check the journal. Oh. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we can call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Why, thank you. Come find me. Okay. Fine. Oh. I uh, press left click to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash throughout the world. You can use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold left click to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Interests. No. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot. Okay, it's, it's all the same. Well, that's mean. I'm very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark 
in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or a rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press left right click while targeting a person or location. This place is the end of all things and the beginning. That is pretty cool. All of time's meaning is here. Neither seconds nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and love is not by deed. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. I can feel the great age ending. The voice scares me. Collected some runes, open the journal, and go to the powers section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Very cool. Oh, okay. Uh, I have one rune. All these are expensive. Dark vision. See in the dark and see living beings through walls, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. This is really cool. V vitality. Health is increased. Unnecessary. We are going for a perfect stealth run. That should not be necessary at all. Press right click to see in the dark and to reveal living beings through solid walls. Blah blah blah. Level 2 shows you important items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo coins, keys, or traps. Cool. How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans. So, oh, we read that. I wasn't there before. Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charms section. Wow, there's so many here. Bone charms? I can equip that much? That seems a bit overpowered. Powers effects slightly improved. I don't know what that means. White rats can be consumed. 
for mana. White rats won't attack you. That seems kind of cool. White sh or shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Alright. Wind sword, the sword contests more frequently. Damage from explosions reduced slightly. Breath capacity in water. Yes, this is good. Delicate touch, breaking glass sound is moderately reduced. But then, what if we're. What if we're trying to distract them with a glass bottle? Moderate keyhole peeping magnification. Drop assassination gives health. We won't be using that. Swim speed increase. Yeah. Quick dodge. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bullets. Alright, three more. What, what can we use? Power effects, I guess. But I don't know how that would improve blink. Um, white rats won't attack. And then... Moderate keyhole peeping magnification. Alright. Let's check out these other abilities. Allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Slows time for a short duration. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, devouring swarm. Summons a swarm of rats that will attack others, then disperse after a short duration. The swarm will also consume corpses. I know when you, like, kill people and it'll make more corpses, which will lead to more, like, zombies, and the plague will spread more, but if these rats eat the corpses, I don't know if that'll contribute to that. Powerful wind that can push back or knock down enemies and shatter doors. Okay. Anyways, objective. Speak to Admir Admiral Havelock. Oh, there's a rune. Interesting. The... That one. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. And the heart. This can go too. Wait, that's pretty close. Attention Dunwall citizens. River traffic is forbidden from landing in the dis- Let's save. Okay. Risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Sure. Aren't there piranhas in the water? Don't really want to risk that. Okay. There, there you are. Arrows you obtain from rooms can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish for slow time before rushing a group of enemies. I don't think there's anything that costs one rune, except for this one, but that's not really... Better to save it up for some cooler stuff. Oh, this is cool. Jump height increased and falling damage reduced. Overall movement speed increased. This would be cool for stealth and parkour. Shadow kill. This is also pretty cool. Oh wait, no, but that's only when they die. But this is a pretty cool ability. However, I don't know if it'll contribute to more plague. Build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. None of that will be 
We can work on increasing agility and blink, I think. Dark vision as well, probably. This is only like the lobby it feels like and there's so much to explore. Oh, I don't, that looks like a prison. Well, let's get down to it. First let's off. I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hellpits. Oh yeah, we should definitely save him. He might be really helpful. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Man, I already know I have a rune, you don't have to tell me. Anyways. Okay, click take the journal. Travel with Samuel. The boat man. Off we go. Oh. Hey. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession, before you became an assassin. Very well. Callista is an uncle who is captain of the Dunwall City Watch. Captain Kerno is a decent man trying to make the best of a corrupt regime and enact change from within. He's meeting much resistance. Yeah, so that just shows, like, I, I, I shouldn't just kill any guard I see, because there could be a lot of good people that are just being suppressed, so... Non-lethal stealth is the best approach, in my opinion. I have 3,000 coins? Bro, I'm buying upgrades right now. Let's get that uh, sleeping dart. So another task, spare Captain Kerno. Oh, ensure Kerno survives his visit to the office. So that, I have to be fast with that. This should probably be my priority because everything else will be uh, it's a mandatory main mission. So. What can I do for you? Spend 3,000 bucks? A rune. 
can buy a room? How many? Oh, just one? Alright. Well, that was worth it. Okay, also. Sleeping dart. Yes. Yes. Still have 2,000. What could we do? Bolt capacity unnecessary. So. Bone charring capacity. Yeah. Still have money. Let's keep a thousand just in case. Oh, it's gone anyways. Sleep bolt. I own three. We can buy an extra. Alright. End time. Oof. So many tempting. Alright, I think definitely. I feel like bending time would probably be a little, make it a little too easy at, at, at the beginner level, the early mission, so let's go to physical prowess. Also, I did some research. Um, hey. Ready to go? Just give the signal. So yeah, I did some research about the killing situation, and it says Weepers, well, Weepers, well, I, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a type of enemy called Weepers, and then there's also rats. We know rats can kill us. The amount of Weepers and rats in the city uh, over the, the missions you play is determined by your chaos level. And chaos level is determined by how many people you murder. And shadow kill is considered murder, which is the ability we saw where they turn to ash. Uh, and so is killing weepers. So basically, we will not, we should not kill anyone. So we can keep that chaos level low. And I also got a little hint about <laughs> different endings. So we'll try to get the... Uh, what I hope to be is the good ending if, it, if it's a non-lethal run. Anyways. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Uh, Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalists, Martin is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. So Martin should be safe the whole time until we actually get to him. So our first target should definitely be the the maid's friend. I forgot the shoe. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The city watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. More clues? The City Watch holds Clavering Boulevard. Beyond the first wall of light, the Bottle Street Gang controls the side streets around Clavering Boulevard. I I really hope that's Boulevard. <laughs> um, Granny Rags lives in an apartment at the far end of Vendoria Street. So I guess we should visit them as well. Wow, this is going to be a long mission, isn't it? Use the Bottle Street Alice to get around the walls of light. Let's save the game. So I'm going to end the episode here because I just realized it's already been 30 minutes and if I try to go through this entire mission it's going to definitely last well over an hour. So um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.